Hey Libra, how are you? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what messages pop out for you guys for February 2022. If you want a personal love reading, all the details are in the description box and um, you can also buy a reading on my Etsy shop. I have my tarot, oracle decks, cheat sheets, spiritual jewelry, everything is there. And your bonus extended is up on Vimeo for February, okay? What is this person not communicating? All right, today I'm going to start off with an oracle card, okay? Maybe one or two. And see what messages that come out for you. All right, messages for Libra. Voice. It says, you are here to be known so speak and be seen all right so something here libra you're having to speak up okay so um you know you being air sign you know you do very well at speaking your mind your truth right perhaps <laughs> um but yeah there's something here that you have to speak about maybe there's something that you want to know from someone all right i feel like this could be someone that you are maybe not in communication with and like maybe you want to be heard. Maybe you haven't been heard by this person. We have radical honesty. Radical honesty. It says to believe in the facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation, self-defeat, and self-denial. Yeah, I feel like so there's someone here that you want this person to be honest okay about something because it's kind of like the energy of holding back right someone is suffocating here so yeah i'm getting the energy of someone that you're at a way a, a distance from maybe you feel like alienated by them like in that five of pentacles energy and it's really causing a lot of hurt you know and it could be something here you're wanting to be heard you want this person to be honest um maybe you want them to speak their mind okay so let's see what's going on we're gonna um get into your reading now okay all right, so Libra. Messages for Libra. This could also be the energy of someone wanting to be honest to you and wanting to speak their mind, wanting to be heard by you, okay? So let's see what's going on. Take it how it resonates. You can always switch the roles, right? Oh, three of swords came out. Three of Swords in reverse. So there's someone that you may have cut ties with. Maybe there was a really difficult ending here that caused a lot of emotional pain. There's definitely a loss here, okay? There's some grieving going on and healing. You know, Three of Swords in reverse, you've gotten through the worst, Libra. So yeah, it looks like there's been hurt that you've, you're now moving past it. Now we got the Two of Pentacles here, the Tower, and the Death in reverse. So we got Strong Scorpio here. Big, big change, transformations, especially with the tower. Something here could have happened unexpectedly. I really feel like something caught you off guard, Libra. Um, it could be an ending of some sort that you experienced with someone. And the tower, it's like it went down with the big bang, okay? So with the tower, it's speaking about something happening unexpectedly, but it really took you by surprise. It caused a lot of damage. It caused a lot of hurt. Could have been like an exposure of something okay but it's telling me that something could have happened for a reason right because death is about transformation something may have not been working and therefore the tower comes in destroys something so that it can be rebuilt on a more solid structure so libra i'm seeing the energy of you going in back and forth with regard to a situation you could be um contemplating something there could be two people two paths two opportunities presented and um i'm getting the energy of it's going to require you to take uh, action or invest in some way um pentacles typically is like you know your values um so let's see how this works out okay there's definitely some kind of i'm getting rebirth or resurrection with the death so it's like something ends and then it brings forth a new beginning so that new beginning you could be kind of like hesitating about right so let's see libra in a recent past the justice card that's your energy the ace of swords and the strength in the verse so in a past, it looks like there was a need for um, something to be set right. The justice card, you know, could be indicating of karmic justice. It could also be indicating that, you know, something here was unfair. Um, 
wrong okay someone may have wronged you and you may decide you know what i'm gonna do x y and z to bring balance and uh, uh stability to my life okay some of you guys this could be like a legal matter or a court matter but for the majority of you guys i feel like it's that tower you know the tower could have happened or it could be happening right now it could be actively something you're going through and that is a way that something's going to be set right okay it's like it's bringing a lot of uncomfortable change but after that tower moment it's allowing something to finally fall into place now, I feel like in the past, we also have the energy of something you may have found out. The Ace of Swords is truth, clarity. Some of you guys, you may have gotten some information on a situation as to maybe why something didn't work. Strength in verse, maybe someone gave up. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra, another Libra, okay? So, yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's in your energy. Seven of Swords, so someone here that you may not trust, the Magician and the Six of Cups. Someone, I feel, in your life, Libra. Um... You really care about there's a strong yearning and longing you think about them often maybe you guys have grown up together went to the same school and i feel like this is someone that may have deceived you with that seven of swords i feel like they took you by surprise they may have done something here that was not nice okay lied to you went behind your back did something here betrayed you okay with the three of swords and i feel like you're trying to manifest change into your life you're trying to move in this new direction libra you know yeah you care about this person but there's something about you bringing some kind of change and wanting to change the situation the circumstance some of you guys you're wanting to maybe change this person or waiting for some kind of change waiting from the wake up right especially after this tower moment there could be something that you're manifesting, but it's almost like when it comes in, it's kind of like you're still going back and forth about it with the two pentacles. It's kind of like, is this person really, are they really uh, a new person, right? Are they really going to come correct this time? So you could be coming together with someone, Libra, but I feel like you may be unsure, okay, um, about this person still. So let's see what's going on in the environment, in the foundation. We have the temperance in verse, the three of cups, the six of wands, the six of pentacles in verse with the four in verse. So yeah, I feel like a lot of time may have passed between um, some kind of ending or that tower moment perhaps. Um, and it looks like someone here is thinking about coming together with you, the three cups, some kind of unity, harmony. Let's come together. Let's enjoy our time. Someone here wants to be victorious. So I do feel this person is going to come to you and take some kind of action towards you. And um, I almost feel like it's going to happen when you give up on them, though, okay? There's something here about you take your energy back, you manifest elsewhere, Libra, and then someone is kind of like, okay, now I got to take action because if I don't take action now, I'll never get what I want. So it's like the temperance in verse is like when someone is like anxious. It's like they're anxious and worried and they're having to do something. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting the sense that something has not been fair. It has not been balanced, right? There's been a lack of reciprocity. And I feel like that's why, you know, something hasn't moved forward. Now, Libra, I get the sense that there's a lack of trust for this person. And that could be why you're feeling this way, why you're hesitating. You may not trust them, especially if they cause a lot of pain to you with the Three of Swords. So I get the sense that yeah, this person wants to win. We'll see why they want to come in, what their intentions are. The Six of Wands could be just like wanting to be heard, right? Wanting to be seen, wanting to be acknowledged. But maybe they don't have the best intentions, intentions for you. So we got the world in reverse, the Ten of Cups, and the Five of Wands. So Libra, it's kind of like <laughs> you can fight it all you want. Something is coming back to the surface. Something is being revisited. The world in reverse, you have not closed out this cycle with this person. And I feel like it's about time. Because the Five of Wands is that, you know, you've been fighting it. Maybe you and this person have been fighting each other. But this could be inner conflict as well. We're going to see. It does look like there's something that's going to make you happy, Libra. Ten of Cups is here. Okay, this could be about coming together with someone or just finding your happiness through all the chaos and drama you went through. Okay, finally, right? So let's jump right in. Let's see what other messages pop out for you. If this is your reading, Libra, oops, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Chia. All right, three of swords. Give me the energy of the three of swords. Why is this a challenge for Libra? Page of pentacles in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse. You know, I'm seeing the energy of, you know, again, someone here could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Giving less than six of pentacles in verse is not showing up, not giving you all of them, not giving you their time, their energy, their efforts. And so someone stepped back, someone stepped back, someone stopped trying and putting themselves out there in this connection. 
And ultimately, it looks like there was an ending. You know, someone could have been giving to another person or the situation. Therefore, they weren't investing fully in you. And so there was some kind of breakup or ending here. Now, why is the tower here? Tower is going to look different for everybody. But I want to get a gist of what the tower energy is bringing. Someone was very dishonest with the tower. And so something had to be uh, literally set right. Something had to crumble and fall apart. Two of swords in verse and ace of swords in verse. Some of you, the tower could be literally you making a decision to cut someone out, cut this person out because you realize they're just BS. They're just bull, you know, a bunch of bull. And, you know, I'm getting the energy of you being tired of this person being dishonest, okay? So we have um, radical honesty. Some of you guys, you brought forth some kind of radical change, maybe made a decision because someone here has not been honest with you. You don't trust them. They went behind your back. They betrayed you and that had to come to an end. So that tower could literally be you, Libra, taking some kind of action and bringing forth and setting this tower moment, right? Literally like igniting this tower moment. So the death in verse is that, yeah, there's an ending here, but I feel like it was necessary, the justice because something was not balanced it was not fair you were being wronged you were being taken advantage of so there was an ending because you put an ending to that situation where you were being mistreated so i feel libra you set this tower moment you did it <laughs> so your person could be going through a tower moment right now because you're realizing that you know what i'm getting pulled a cord pull the plug pull the cord cut the cord it's like libra you just you decide for yourself this is not going to work for me and I need to do, I need to change the way this is happening or what this person is doing or how they're treating me. So the two of pentacles, what's this about? Ten of pentacles in a verse and the queen of swords in verse. Some of you guys, you cut off this person because you didn't see any form of stability with them. But then there's the energy of, did I do the right thing? You know, queen of swords in verse, you quickly, you just said, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Right. Some of you are overthinking this, you're rethinking this, you're kind of going back, was that the right decision? Now, what happened in recent past with the Ace of Swords? Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. There could have been another person you found out about. Maybe there was a codependency here. There was a lot of drama, okay, a lot of conflict. And I do think there was some kind of external force or external person you may have found out about. Maybe this person was dealing with someone else or had some kind of situation they had not literally moved away from there could have been like a codependency with the queen of pentacles taurus Virgo, capricorn some of you guys you found out the truth that this person was um, already married that's for some of you guys they were still dealing with someone why is the justice card here definitely could be marital energy here seven of pentacles in a verse with the chariot in a verse we deal with the cancer so yeah in the past it looks like you had to do things that was best for you. You had to do what was right for you, Libra, because ultimately you're dealing with someone who was not fully investing. And so therefore, there was no victory. So it's like, what are we doing? What are we doing here? The chariot in verse is that something is not moving forward. Therefore, you have to set things right. Why is the strength in a verse? You gave up. Someone gave up here in the past because someone was no longer confident that this was going to be right for them. So why is the seven of swords here for you, Libra? You could have felt deceived or tricked by this person. Give you a Leo, Eight of Cups, and some some of you guys, you walked away. So it's like, it, it took a lot of strength for you to do this, but it was like time, it was necessary. You know, the time is now. So with the Strength card, Eight of Cups, you walked away because you no longer saw happiness with this person. That's what it looks like. But it looks like in doing that, things are manifesting for you. There's big change happening in your life, but it may feel like you're being um, stagnated. It may feel like you're, you're constantly going through more hurt and pain. But honestly, I feel like this is part of the experience. A lot of you guys, you are still healing from something. The Five of Cups, a lot of regrets, and you're trying to feel like, like you're wondering, why am I still feeling this hurt and pain? Like, I just want to be happy. I want to manifest good things into my life. I want to free myself from people who are not good for me and people who are toxic. And you walked away. And so this is telling me that this is it's working. What you're doing, you're on the right path. And it may feel like you're not in the place that you need to be. It may feel like you're constantly being um, tugged back or, you know, you're not moving forward. But this is confirmation you're healing. Three of Swords keeps coming out in reverse. You see this? You're healing. It's part of the process, Libra. So don't be discouraged. You are definitely still thinking a lot about this person. Five of Cups. Why wasn't we together? Why didn't this work? Okay, but this is all part of the process. It's like a lot of these feelings are coming to the surface so that you can deal with it one last time and let it go. So it doesn't bother you anymore. So you can just remove yourself from the situation and move on with your life. And so some of you guys, yeah, I feel like there's a, 
a cycle here that you've been in or, you know, for maybe years. I mean, and you have not cut the tie with this person. Okay, some of you guys, it could be like a past life type of connection. You have not cut the tie and it's like it's coming back and it's almost like haunting you. You walked away from this perhaps for some some time. Maybe you walked away a long time ago and it's like coming back and you're having these feelings. You know, I miss them and I want them. And it's like literally reminding you of everything you lost. But this is part of the healing process, right? So why is the temperance in reverse? This person is losing your mind. But look at this. Look at the energy around this person. The temperance in reverse, the emperor in reverse, and the tower. This, didn't I say this person's going through a tower moment? Because you moved in a different direction. You saw the truth. You see the truth. And you move forward in the truth. Because you're realizing that this person will never be what you need them to be. The emperor in the verse takes advantage. He He's a control freak, right? He, he could be narcissistic. I mean, him or she, him or her, doesn't matter. Um, the emperor in the verse, this person was not making the right decisions for you. For the connection. And so you may have been going blindly, walking by blindly with this emperor in this connection and there was going to be no end in sight. There was going to be no fulfillment, no happiness. So I really feel like this tower is that you're, this person is now being forced to change because they realize that they lost you. This is someone who wants to come together with you. They want to win, win, win. And that's, that's all they think about. I feel like this person just wants to be, it's like there's the energy of wanting to achieve something. But it's like not really in the best interest of you, Libra, because it's like, what happened to the Ace of Cups? Where's the real, real, real love? This person doesn't want real love. They're not in a place to accept real love. They just want to know that they can have you. They just want to know that they got you. They they won they won you back, and that's not what you need. So I feel like your person, may, their intentions are not very good. Oh, I just want to have Libra, just to have them. I just want their attention. I just want their acknowledgement. I just want them. To just be thinking about me, you know? So with the Emperor in the Verse and the Tower, this person is going through a lot of hardships in their life. And it's forcing this person to change. And, you know, this Tower could be affecting all different facets of their life. Their career, their home, family, their home, you know, day-to-day uh, -day living, their mental well-being, you know? So let's see what's going on. Why is the Six of Wands here? This person wants to achieve something in the world in verse. This is some. This is a cycle you're moving away from. This person will keep you stuck if you allow them to, Libra. And with this world in reverse coming out twice, this is a cycle you are breaking once and for all. It's You're breaking this. You're moving away from this. And so I really feel like that um, justice card is about karmic justice. Okay, there, there's something here you're clearing out karma. And that's why it's been so difficult for you. But once you finally clear it out, you'll be able to let it go and not look back. But this person is not trustworthy, the full in reverse, and you know it. And I also feel like they would never give to you in a fair, balanced manner the way you want it. So I see that you're releasing this person. Now, it's going to be difficult, but look where we go from. There's going to be a lot of resistance, a lot of conflict, inner conflict, right? Because you're freeing, you're, you're freeing yourself. You're, you're moving away. You're closing out a cycle. It, it's like the end, the last 100 meter, when you're running a race, a full stick of a 400 meter race, that last 100 meter, oh, hell, you know? Your legs feel like jello. You want to just fall. You want to <laughs> be done. You may even slow up. But no, you got to go hard. Right? So I feel with that five of wands, I don't know if you guys are like track runners. I did my hurdles. I'm hurdles over here. So that last 100 meter hurdles, mm -mm. you want to just give up, but you can't. So with that world in reverse, there's something that you're having to deal with and it's going to be very difficult toward the end, but it's more difficult toward the end because it's like it's showing you that it's like testing you. Spirit is challenging you. It's testing you. Are you going to go back? Are you going to fall into this trap? Are you going to get caught up in the web? Are you going to replay this cycle? What are you going to do? Are you going to break? I hope not, Libra. So the last, the very ending, okay, when you close out this cycle, because you guys are closing out a cycle right now, I really feel that strongly. The Justice card came out twice. The World card came out in reverse twice. The Tower came out twice. What the hell? Right? <laughs> it's going to be difficult toward the end, but look what you go to. Look what happens The Ten of Cups. You get your happiness. You get your freedom. You get real love. Okay? You get to this happy place, but you got to fight for it. It's not going to be easy. Queen of Cups, some of you guys, it's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or it could just be someone who was incapable of loving you. 
And as soon as you realize that and let that go, the sooner the happier you'll be. Okay? So Libra, that is your reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. I know this was a difficult read, but you got it. You had to hear it. You had to hear it, right? Someone is, um, this is someone's story, okay? So Libra, love, okay? Love and kisses to each and every one of you. And enjoy your weekend, all right? And um, I'll check you guys out next week. All right, bye.